Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about how to use Entity Framework in a Blazor server application. Now, if you're overriding some of the um, asynchronous methods in a Razor component, such as on initialized async, um, you might find you're having some problems using Entity Framework. Um, you might get a problem similar to the following. A second operation started on this context before a previous operation completed. This is usually caused by different threads using the same instance of DB context. So what exactly does that mean? Well, what's probably happening is that in your Blazor server application, you've probably got multiple Razor components. Um, you've probably got, say, a header Blazor component, and you've also uh, maybe got a navigation Razor component as well. So why might this um, be causing an issue to you? Well, if you're using it on initialized async, just say your header component loads first, and then the navigation loads straight after that. If you're using the on initialized async, um, the header is going to start, and the navigation is not going to hang around until the header has completed because it's asynchronous. And this causes a problem for entity framework. That is because Entity Framework can only one run once on the same thread. So how do we go about fixing this? Well, let's head over to our application and find out. So it's worth at this point um, talking through a dependency injection, and particularly with some of the scopes that you can um, use in dependency injection. Now, the three different um, scopes that you can use in .NET Core is Singleton, and this is where a service stays initialized for the lifetime of the application once it's been requested. So until you kill off that application, that instance will always be present. Then you've got a scoped um, instance, um, and this is initialized every time a new dependency injection scope is created. A new DI scope would typically happen for every thread run in a web application. And then you've got the last one, which is transient. This is a surface that is initialized every time it is injected as a parameter or explicitly requested. So this is where lies the problem with Entity Framework, because by default, um, it's set up as a scoped instance. So there's two ways of fixing this error. Um, the first way I'm going to show you is to change the scope of Entity Framework. Um, so this is um, basically part of my service collection. Um, so by default, um, it's um, set as a scoped, but what we can do is we can change that and change it to a transient scope. So what you need to do here is to include the options, even if you're not actually including any options as one of the overrides, and then set the service lifetime, which in this instance is transient. So let's see if that fixes our issue. So we're refreshing the uh, page now. And there you go, our application is now working. So that's one way of doing it. Um, there is another way of doing it though. So if we go back to using the scoped uh, scope uh, service lifetime for the uh, entity framework, and what we can do in our Blazor components is we can actually uh, create a new scope. So at the moment we're using the um, global scope, but what we can do is we can take some of this out. So if we take that out and we can basically use the same code, but you create a new scope within dependency injection. So let's do that. And let's see if that fixes the issue as well. So I've made those changes. Let's start it up again and see what happens. So yeah, just refreshing the page now. And yes, as you can see there, it's working as well. So there's two ways of fixing it. So either you can set change the scope of Entity Framework to a transient scope, or you can create your own scope and then inject whatever services you need or inject Entity Framework through those localized scopes. So I hope you found that useful and for more um, articles related to .NET 
visit roundthecode.com, visit Twitter at Round the Code, and also visit my YouTube channel, Round the Code. Um, and until next time, it's goodbye.